ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन मॉडर्न फिजिक्स एंड क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स इन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू समथिंग अबाउट हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट्स विच लेट टू द बर्थ ऑफ मॉडर्न फिजिक्स एंड क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स दे वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट प्लैंक्स क्वांटम थीरी ऑफ रेडिएशन ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ लाइट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैटर वेव्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर वेव्स एंड फेज वेलासिटी एंड ग्रुप वेलासिटी Now let me proceed further. Here, first I start with the explanation of significance of wave group, and then Heisenberg's Ice uncertainty principle. Look at this wave group, which I mentioned in my previous video, represents particle in motion. Wave group of matter wave represents particle in motion. It is a representative of moving particle. The particle can be located anywhere within the group at a given time. let me elaborate this uh, if you recall from the previous video how wave group is formed it is formed due to overlapping of two or more waves which are having different wavelength and it happens only in the anisotropic medium see when a particle is moving in anisotropic medium where potential is different uh, its wavelength also will be different because wavelength is inversely proportional to square root of potential so when wavelength varies a particle can be associated with matter waves of different wavelength so all those matter waves overlap and finally gives a what is known as wave group so wave group is therefore representative of particle it looks like this so this is an envelope consisting of components of waves so it is a group of wave and particle it can be seen anywhere within this group whose width is delta x next if the wave group is narrow then position of the particle can be specified more accurately on the other hand if the wave group is wider momentum of the particle is more accurate what does it mean let me take this as x1 this as x2 so x2 minus x1 is delta x that is width of the group so particle can be seen anywhere from here to here if you try to locate the particle uh, the probability of locating the particle will be more accurate if the group size is very small it is something like catching a rat which is confined to a small carton box if the same rat is left free in a big room then probability of catching the rat will be very less look at this group this is something like a very big room like structure that means the wave group width is more so particle can be seen anywhere from here to here so the delta x is more therefore probability of locating the position of the particle becomes less and less means there will be more error in the position measurement coming to the next point if the wave group is wider momentum of the particle is more accurate what does it mean see here position measurement is not accurate but you can measure wavelength of the particle with more accuracy that means lambda can be measured accurately and we know lambda is equal to h by p p stands for momentum if lambda is accurate p is also accurate that means wider wave group gives accurate momentum value so now coming to the conclusion from a given wave group which is a representative of moving particle one cannot know both exact position and exact momentum of the particle at the same time so wave group signifies the particle from the wave group we can measure both position and momentum but at a time means for a given group if you try to measure both of them there will be some errors in your measurement this concept led to the formulation of heisenberg uncertainty principle and the statement goes like this in the simultaneous measurement of both position and momentum of a particle there is always some error the product of error in the position and momentum is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi so simultaneously if you try to measure both position and momentum definitely you will incur so much of error this is considered as one of the fundamental law in quantum mechanics mathematically if delta x is the error in position 
delta p is error in momentum then delta x into delta p greater than or equal to h by 4 pi delta x is position delta p is momentum we can also express in terms of energy and the time spent by the particle in the excited state that is delta e into delta t greater than or equal to h by 4 pi so what is the summary of uncertainty principle we can say past is particle future is wave and 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 what is now what is present we don't know it is uncertain dear students in my previous slide just i made one small mistake i mentioned wavelength of the particle sorry it is wavelength associated with the particle now let me proceed significance of uncertainty principle and applications according to this principle particles position and momentum or energy and the time interval span in the excited state cannot be measured accurately all the measurements are just probabilistic this suggests that in quantum world of particles no measurement is accurate but it is not so in our day to day life that is in macroscopic domain all the measurements are certain and accurate if we measure, measure the position of a particle using equations of motion let us say you get s is equal to 100 meter then you say particle is located at a position of 100th meter from the origin you never say it is most probably at 100th meter from the origin no uncertain your answer but in in microscopic world no measurement is certain all the measurements are probabilistic now let us see one application to show that electron cannot exist inside the nucleus let me give you the background during beta decay you know what is beta decay emission of electrons from the radioactive nuclei so during beta decay electrons are coming out from the unstable radioactive nuclei does it mean that electron existed inside the nucleus before the decay this particular question was unanswered for many years and the mystery solved only after evaluation of Heisenberg uncertainty principle it goes like this first you assume that electron exists inside the nucleus if at all it is existing inside the nucleus then it must be located within the radius of the nucleus maximum uncertainty in the position measurement is equal to diameter that is two times of the radius that means if this is the nucleus electron can be seen here can be seen here can be seen here anywhere up till here so you take the reading correspond to this position and this position the difference is the error and the difference must be diameter that is equal to 2r so the difference cannot be more than 2r therefore uncertainty cannot exceed 2r so delta x is less than or equal to 2r and we know r that is radius of the nucleus is equal to r naught into a to the power of 1 by 3 that is mass number substitute delta x is less than 1 into 10 power minus 14 so if you substitute r value and do the simplification you get delta x less than 1 into 10 power minus 14 what is a value you can take any value for a preferably radioactive nuclei mass number then use uncertainty principle delta x delta p greater than or equal to h by 4 pi then delta p greater than or equal to h by 4 pi into delta x substitute the value of h and delta x and simplify delta p comes out to be 0.5 into 10 power minus 20 next we know kinetic energy is equal to p square divided by 2m where p is momentum so this is the minimum momentum of the electron if at all it is existing inside the nucleus so take that minimum momentum value here do simplification you get e as 85 mev that means if at all electron is inside the nucleus it must possess minimum kinetic energy of 85 mev by chance if that electron comes out of the nucleus it must come with minimum of 85 mev energy let us see the experimental observation this is a graph of kinetic energy versus number of beta particles emitted this is an experimental graph look at the graph 
maximum kinetic energy attained by the beta particle is 3 to 4 MeV and the two very few beta particles possess that. Most of the beta particles possess minimum energy. That means no, not even a single beta particle is coming out with energy of 85 MeV. So here is the explanation. If at all electron exists inside the nucleus, then it should come out with a minimum kinetic energy of 85 MeV during beta decay. But the experimental observations reveal that the maximum kinetic energy of beta particles or electrons is only about 3 to 4 MeV. This clearly shows that within the nucleus there is no electron at all.